Okay, back again, John Ruffle, Coffee Time Talks. And I said yesterday I'd tell you what enthusiasm means. And enthusiasm is a wonderful word when you're enthusiastic about something. You know, people are enthusiastic about their football team. They're enthusiastic about Lewis Hamilton hopefully winning the world title for the seventh time equaling Michael Schumacher's seventh world record and um, you know maybe you're not a Lewis Ham Hamilton fan maybe you don't watch motor racing I love motor racing but there you are but we're enthusiastic about those things that really motivate us and that give us vision and energy but the word enthusiasm comes from enthuse which means to be filled with God theos God to be filled with God and so the most enthusiastic people on this planet should be those who have been touched by God by his Holy Spirit those people who have been touched by God through the Holy Eucharist those people who have been touched by God through devotional prayer those people who have been touched by God to have a transformed life from inside out those are the joy givers the joy makers the overcomers and that's what you and I have been called to be. Now it's possible that you don't feel like an overcomer. I know this past week has been tough for me. I've been fighting um, depression. Is that the right way of saying it? I'm not defeatist, but yeah, it's been a flat time for me over the past week and I just came out of it and I realized that, hey, this thing is just an attack. And I think partly because um, a few days ago, I spent five minutes praying for you all. Um, it's on the video there. And I realized that when we pray and break bondages and those things that hold us back, and we pray in the Spirit and set the captives free, the enemy of our souls isn't going to just sit back there and say, oh, that's very good, I'll let John get on with it. No, he'll try to infiltrate one way or the other, and he, sometimes he'll use my psyche to get me discouraged. And I need to just say, hey, wait a minute, what is happening here? I'm not accepting that. Lord Jesus, have mercy. You know, I can't pull myself out of the ditch, but Jesus pulls us out of the ditch when we trust in him so it's a question of trusting and you know our life it goes in cycles doesn't it It goes up and down like this it goes like it's not just a constant oh i'm happy i'm happy this is fine this is fine this is fine we'll have high points in our life we'll also have low points but god is present in our high points but he's just as present in the low points and so don't despair when you hit on the low points when you even question your salvation when you question the validity of your faith don't be concerned just say god I don't even know how to pray right now, but I trust in you. And just, you know, that's why during lockdown, I had my rosary and I would sleep each night holding my rosary and holding that crucifix. And it was a symbolic way of me saying, Lord, whatever happens, I trust in you. Whatever happens, I know that you died for my sins, that you rose again from the dead. So... Whatever it is that helps you connect with the Lord, just go for it. Whether it's reading the Psalms, listening to worship music, just being quiet and still in the presence of the Lord. Trust Him, because the dark times are not here to stay. You are designed to live in the victory of Jesus. And through all the years of being a Christian, I'm living proof of that. And perhaps I'll go into a little bit more detail of that in the next few days. Thanks so much for watching. Jesus is Lord. And most of all, Jesus is love.